I'd like to give you one more vibrato exercise. I don't think this would be a place to start for most of you. View this after you've looked at the other exercises, okay? I had a teacher, a really fine teacher, show me this trick once in the middle 1990s. And uh, I've tried it with many students since. And in two of those cases, two students were able to suddenly vibrate. They went from no vibrato at all to having it. And it was like a, a magic trick. It was so great. I will say that most of my students have not been able to take this and turn it into vibrato. So use it with caution. But those two now have vibrato because of this trick that I was taught. So I'm going to give you a shot at it and see if a few of you can't get something out of it. Now I'm going to play on the D string. I'm going to use my second finger. And what I want to do is touch the string, but we're not going to push it down all the way. Okay? Now you're going to press and release without coming off. So I'm on the string, but nothing is being pressed into the string. Totally relaxed. And I'll push in. So the string basically, it's not going to really make contact with the fingerboard. I'm not pressing that hard, but I'm getting it very close. My skin is touching the fingerboard. How's that? Now I will start to bounce the string up and down. Okay. And I want to get faster and faster with that bounce. Now you'll notice at this point or at this speed, the hand is not really involved in this motion. It's just the fingertip, right? But as I start to get wilder with it, the hand starts to shimmer a little bit. Now I'm going to add weight to the finger so that it does not bounce anymore. And as soon as I add that weight to the finger, at this point, I want to transfer it to a hand motion or a wrist vibrato motion. All right, does that make sense? You're bouncing the string. If this is the string, you're bouncing it with just the finger up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And you get faster and faster with the bouncing motion. And as you get faster, the hand should start to get some energy into it. As that happens, push the string down a little more firmly. You don't squeeze, but just a little more firmly. And see if then the vibrato starts to kick in. Okay? I'll show you one more time. You bounce hand is not engaged, just the finger. I'll start to get wilder with it and you'll start to see some motion in the hand. Then I'll add weight to the finger and it turns into that. Okay? So, let's see what it sounds like. When you're bouncing the string, it wouldn't work at all, right? But as I start to leave more weight into the string, instead of coming all the way out, it starts to sound more like vibrato. And then you're going to add the weight to the, and it'll turn into vibrato. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it'll help one of you. And if that's the case, then it was worth it. So good luck. I hope that this helps.